Hello buddies, uh, welcome to the APMP5 strategic management accounting, the first area of uh, APM or P5. Alright, and in it, first we need to know what is strategic planning. Okay, strategic planning is actually the process of deciding the process of deciding on objectives of the organization that what are the uh, objectives of organization uh, and that means what they want to do to, uh, where they want to be uh, in long term what are the uh, goals in long term right then strategic planning and also changes in these objectives time to time organization uh, do change their objectives uh, which we need to do in a strategic planning um, then we need uh, it is also what resources need to attain these objectives strategies uh, that are to govern the acquisition to govern the acquisition uh, if uh, the organization is planning to acquire any company or they are planning to do, uh, acquire any subsidiary etc how to manage these things this is strategic planning basically a long term plans regarding achieving objectives how to get them how to do changes then next is management control what is management control management control the process by which managers Assure that resources are obtained and used effectively. accomplishment of in, uh, in accomplishment of of organization objectives right then operational control operational control is the process of assuring that specific tasks are carried out carried out uh, to uh, carried out effectively and efficiently so far so good these are the terms which we need to know at the start of this area <clears throat> okay role of performance management in strategic planning and control firstly we need to know what is performance management systems all right so the 
performance uh, management systems pms or you can say uh, pm systems now uh, performance management systems are plans uh, with set guidelines and targets to help organizations <clears throat> measure how efficiently goes measure how efficiently goals are being met goals are being met all right uh, and then identify areas where performance can be improved Uh, performance management systems can also be linked to reward programs such as uh, such as employees are rewarded for helping an organization quit goals employees what it to how <clears throat> organization to reach its goals All right uh, so far so good historically performance management has tended to focus on either people management or performance monitoring however the concept concept of performance is not much wider and uh, it does uh, it also includes now number one uh, it includes strategic planning as I discussed earlier strategic planning performance measurement Number three, uh, monitoring key performance indicators. Uh, financial planning. Budgeting, <clears throat> business process reengineering, <clears throat> risk management. business intelligence data warehousing dashboards and scorecards well all right
Now, let us discuss. So, as uh, discussed priorly, performance management is any activity. Uh, uh, is any activity designed to improve organization performance and to ensure that uh, organization organizations uh, objectives are met right so uh, here however uh, it highlights the fact that organization must have uh, established uh, the goals their missions um, the objectives all right so uh, let us look at these terms that is goals objectives and missions in more detail all right so what is mean by goal all right so goal uh, is actually something which uh, organization or individual wants to achieve all right and it's qualitative in nature right for example for example, you say, uh, I want to reduce my weight. That's goal, right? Another example, I want to do ACCA, all right? It's, uh, uh, it's kind of a weight thing that I just told my aim that I want to do. I want to reduce my weight, I want to do ACC, that's cool, all right. Then what is objective? Objective is something, uh, something which uh, individual or organization want to achieve and uh, specified period all right and it's quantitative in nature right now uh, I will use the same uh, old uh, example which I used for example I'll say I want to reduce 10 kg and uh, Three months let's say right now that's uh, making sense that giving me the roadmap that how in how much time I want to achieve it and how much more I want to achieve another is other example is I want to do ACCA in three years so that's my objective actually right hope uh, it's clear to you now, what is mission? The purpose for which uh, organization came into being, right? Uh, for example, my, this online college accountancy came into being because uh, my purpose was to provide 
quality ACC education to the students uh, with flexibility, with comfort, right? Students can uh, study from anywhere they want. That was my purpose actually to provide comfort, to provide flexibility. Uh, Walt Disney. Walt Disney uh, purpose was to give quality uh, cartoons so that uh, even children can enjoy uh, enjoy the cartoons can get the uh, entertainment uh, why McDonald's why came uh, McDonald's came into being before came uh, McDonald's there were lots of fast food restaurants but all were so messy they crowded uh, the purpose of the McDonald's that that uh, which is uh, you which you can see already all over the world that people come they eat they uh, throw the trash themselves and go out right a formal system into a fast food chain that was what McDonald's aim so the purpose uh, for which organization came into being is mission all right although although mission can be changed time to time by the uh, owners of the business and I hope you get it till here in the next session, I will continue with the further uh, topics of this uh, chapter and we'll see you.